in today's video i'm going to show you how you can actively add code to your website your wordpress website and have it actually running very well so let's see that in action today in our last video we were able to add a very simple extra cost to our order in WooCommerce by having just these uh, five lines of code and we did this by adding a small plugin uh, we created our own plugin using these few lines of code 16 and eventually we got this in our back end as the package cost extra fee so let's dive into the code that will help us to do that so the first thing that I need to do is actually go into my WordPress and inside my WordPress I'll go to a folder called WP content and this content folder has a plugins folder in here as well we'll create another folder which we'll call a LAB package cost or techiepress package cost and inside it we create another file which we call lab package cost.php now in the same way we can actually copy this code and then I'll comment it out we can actually go inside our themes folder and our current theme is actually 2019 then we look for the functions that PHP file and then when we scroll all the way to the bottom can actually just paste this code here and if we reload this page we'll actually see that this actually stays here so I can change this to 7 just to show you the difference and I'll reload here and you'll see that we now have 7 UGX as our packaging fee. So there are two ways you can either use the functions.php file or you can create a plugin by going into your plugins folder in WP content of your site and then you create a folder, create another file in here which is a PHP file, it can be with the same name as the folder name. With that you just add these few lines of code, the plugin name which you'll actually see showing up here. So you can see the plugin name which is package cost extra fee here that comes through this line of code so please be sure to make sure these are comments it's a slash a star then you add these lines of code in there so we have the description which we see here we have the author who is here we have the plugin URI which is the link under the plugin this then we have the author URI which is the link to the website of the author then the text domain is the one that helps WordPress to translate your plugin and make it available to all different languages so that's how we add our code either to how that's how we add our extra code into our WordPress website so I usually advise people to actually build a plugin a small plugin because if you get tired of using this functionality all you have to do is just actually deactivate and when you deactivate that and reload you actually see that this is no longer applying so that's the beauty of it but with a theme if you change the theme you lose your functionality yet in a plugin you wouldn't lose this functionality if you are using a plugin with a theme it's easy for you to lose your functionality when you change the theme to make it different maybe you're having a winter website now you want to have a summer website if you change the theme you lose the functionality but if your code is in a plugin the only time this will be deactivated is if you purposefully come and deactivate it here now I know the fear for some people is that having so many plugins will slow down your site. Not necessarily. The only reason why your site would slow down is because you have written bad code. But if you write good code then there's no problem with your site working normally and functioning normally. So please build a plugin, add your code in there and then use it. So thank you for watching this video. If you really liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.